let's uh, begin by uh, inviting and uh, bringing uh, a connection in with our soul family, our spirit guides, our star family, our ancestors, the star guides, the dragon energy, to give us the information, the guidance, support, the energy to move forward on our soul's journey that brings us into full alignment with our true authentic self and what it is that we came here to do. So as always, find a comfortable position. Best way is to, to sit with a back straight, your feet flat on the floor. You can rest your hand palms, your hands on your knees, hand, hand palms open so you can receive the best energy and be a vessel of light and information. Let's start by paying attention to our breath. Breathe in through the nose. And when we are breathing in, we breathe in into the forehead, opening up the third eye. So the third eye can see what our physical eye cannot. Breathe into the third eye, open up further. For advanced visualization and to move beyond 3D consciousness. Breathing into the throat, feel how the, the breath you're inhaling, the light you are inhaling is coming into the throat of pure self-expression, communication, speaking out your truth. Inhale into the heart, opening up the heart like a petal, like a flower, opening up, radiating green light energy. You could always envision that this heart chakra is making a union, bond, a connection with the energy that is coming out, the radiance that is coming out from all the grasslands, the green forests, the green rolling hills of England, or the jungles, the forests, giving you this pure healing energy of rejuvenation coming in into the heart. experiencing a higher level of unconditional love for yourself and for the journey you want to commit to. Breathe in into the solar plexus and feel how you're opening up the solar plexus for personal empowerment and the willpower. Breathe in into the, the sacral for emotional stability, being able to express your emotions. Feel your own feelings. Become centered within your own self. Now breathe in into the, into the root Breathe in this very beautiful light you're inhaling that's all around you, it's part of you. And breathe in into the, into the root. Creating a safe center of being able to ground yourself with the earth below you. While you are grounding yourself, envisioning yourself that the light that's coming in into the heart, yeah. the white light you are inhaling is coming down, further down through the hips, the legs, the knees, the calves, into the feet, and let it open up your earth chakra below your feet, making, making an anchoring connection with the earth below your feet. 
building the foundation envisioning that you're shooting out energetic roots of white light further down into the earth making an anchoring connection with the core of the earth making a union bonds with the center of the earth giving white light healing energy to the center of the earth for the stabilization and the harmony that's much needed for the planet to stay balanced and centered with all the new energies coming in causing perhaps much turbulence for the planet, for nature so let's give our light to the center of the earth so it can receive more healing energies from our neighboring star systems Orion, Arcturians, Pleiades, Sirius let's stabilize the core giving our light to the center of this core whilst we are making this unified connection envision how the center of the earth, the core of the earth is giving back healing energy centers, healing energies to stabilize our root so feel and experience red healing energy coming into, into our root chakra opening up further the root chakra healing cleansing our grounding centers see and feel how yellow light is coming in into the solar plexus and orange light coming into the sacral energy to stabilize our emotional well-being and the yellow to stabilize our fire for making a strong determined consistence and persistence inspired action now let's focus on enhancing this unified bond of we bringing in more healing white energies from our neighboring stars that are working that are working beacons together with the central sun the center of our milky way galaxy that is still giving birth to all the stars the solar systems in our galaxy as our neighboring star families desire to evolve and move further on their soul's journey they can move forward when they connect with their soul brothers and soul sisters that are residing on planet earth who are here to stabilize the earth energy centers, our own energy centers to be beacons of light, beacons of information, healing energies well we are playing a very much challenging and testing role of moving between 30 consciousness which can often feel like bathing or bathing yourself through thick mud of lower densities storing human collective and collective consciousness of the planet's nature information stored 
any energy of the planets, of nature, the water, the oceans. We are all in touch with whether you know it, whether you're conscious of it, or you're not conscious of it. We are connected. Therefore, our role is to reestablish our anchors, both with the earth energies, like a building, fundaments for lighthouses, so we can be beacons for our soul families, neighboring star systems. which is also our lifeline to increase our vitality. Because as we are moving through daily 3D consciousness, the things we must do to make a living on planet Earth, dealing with our daily practicalities, we can experience levels of fatigue, tiredness, mood swings, feeling down in our moods, mental emotional moods, the food system, the food we are trying to digest, which is might be a challenge for many light workers and star seeds, sensitives, empaths. The densities that are Invading our health, physically, mentally, or the struggles to perhaps believe in our abilities as a strong, independent, sovereign human being. Creative entrepreneurs who know and who are meant to build and create a legacy for themselves, for the family, for the community, for the people, for the earth, the planets, for nature, for animals. But yet, are going throughout different stages to get their work out in the world. Well, their first priority is always their own self-care. Stay connected to increase their vitality, health, well-being grounding this. So this is our practice to to dial up, to tune in. Let this energy come through our energy system, our light body, our nervous system, let it recharge, rejuvenate, restabilize our nervous system. So we give and receive with all the beautiful energies and this that is here for us, but is also here for us to receive from us. As our mother needs our assistance from their children, sons and daughters, to increase the vitality of all that includes nature. And as we are increasing our vitality, or increasing our vibrational frequency, we will become more aligned with our soul's calling. The calling that energizes us, gives us joy and purpose and drive and excitement. It will turn on our spark, our ignition, our fire. 
it will put petrol in our tank to ignite our vehicle our vehicle our purpose our ideas solutions products and services that we want to bring into the world it will increase the the drive and the desire to develop new skill sets driving skills to drive our vehicle as to get our work out in the world but first as always filling our tank purifying and cleansing our glass of water so we don't come across as tired fatigue moody but we come as a pure clean a rejuvenated glass of water so others can drink from our cup so this meditation is here to keep cleansing and purifying our cup of water of light consciousness filling our tank so breathe in Breathe in into this little cup of filling our spirits. So we become the drop of water connected to this ocean. Take a deep breath in, and once you're ready. You can slowly come back, feeling rejuvenated, healed, cleansed, like you just connected with your source. Feeling ready to move forward and closer to fulfill your soul's journey, purpose. and be assistance and of service to others. Thank you for following this guided meditation.